Stefan. So thank you very much. So they are groundbreaking uh, presentations. So it's the first time I hear heart failure persons actually speaking about interventional valve therapy. So I think this is a very, very good sign. And uh, I would like, these are my disclosures, now to point your attention to the possibilities to actually uh, treat these valves after successful or prolonged uh, optimal medical therapy. So the device implant contains three new uh, features that may add for efficacy and safety, especially in the functional uh, MR field, one of which is a central spacer that I would like to highlight you here. Uh, this central spacer actually fills the two sides where the leaflets are captured and reduces the stress that the leaflets do not have to coapt to each other, but it is an edge to spacer to edge technology. You can also recognize that the pedals are relatively broad, so they reduce the point-to-point -point stress on the leaflets that are being pulled from the annulus to the inside of the valve in order to produce the cooptation length. And there's the additional feature to independently, and I'll show you this in the short video, uh, capture the leaflets and also to optimize the insertion points individual for both sides. So this is a very short video of the procedure. It's a transvenous procedure. We do a transeptal puncture in a typical height of four centimeters above the AV valve, the mitral valve, in a posterior location above the commissure. The system can be independently banded and is unkeyed. So you can reach any position you like. You can rotate the clip. You will insert both leaflets and then the clasps are being put down. A clasp can be raised again, individual on the interior posterior side, and then the big paddles are being closed to reach the final situation and the Pascal system is being released. Uh, knowing this, uh, we can show you um, one of the patient examples. This is a 72-year-old male with severe functional regurgitation. He is in New York Heart Association Class 3. He has had already a surgical aortic valve replacement, a Hancock II prosthesis, uh, with a size of 23 millimeters for aortic stenosis, and he also had revascularization by a single cabbage with a left uh, ema down to the left anterior descendant artery of the coronaries already in 2013. You can see it's an almost preserved left ventricular function. The patient has permanent atrial fibrillation and has had a history of several ablation therapies. Uh, there is antibiotic therapy with an intraventricular pacemaker, the Metronic Micra. So we got just go into the procedure. You see the device already here uh, at the uh, leave, uh, mitral valve side, and you can appreciate the pedals are down to the ventricular side. And you can see that by two transparent sliders, we're able to actually close the posterior side um, of the valve introduction that is near the annulus, the posterior annulus, while the anterior side is being raised, and you can still move the clip system in order to bring the anterior leaflet with a pseudoprolapse down into the device before closing the device. It is very important nowadays to actively produce good results, and this is what I show you here. This patient converted back from uh, persistent atrial fibrillation back into sinus rhythm, as you can nicely see here on these slides, and the regurgitation given in a long axis peristernal, in an apical four-chamber, and also in a two-chamber view in order to see all sides of the clip produced a zero to trace regurgitation, giving this patient an excellent perspective. I'll now put your attention to the CLASP study, which is a single arm multicenter prospective study to evaluate the safety, performance, and the clinical outcomes of the Pascal system for patients with clinically significant mitral regurgitation. In this study, there was an inclusion of 62 patients, and you can nicely see that at six months, about 98 of the patients had an MR reduction to mild or mild to moderate, excluding moderate to severe 
or severe MR in these patients, and that 81% of the patients even had a mild MR only at six months in a paired analysis. So I think this is an excellent result. You can also see that even though the pedals are a little bit wider, the clasping system within is not, and that a mean transmitral gradient of four had been achieved that was persisting and stable at discharge 30 days and six months, also in a direct and paired analysis on 44 out of the 62 patients. Also very nice is the reduction in the New York Heart uh, Functional Class. You can see that the majority had a New York Heart Association Class 3 or 4, and you can see that freedom from Class 3 or 4 was achieved in 85% of the patients, and this was very stable and even slightly improving at six months to a rate of 88%. Also, the six-minute walk test increased by a delta of 36 and 21 meters. The quality of life scores, which is mainly the Kansas City score in cardiomyopathy, uh, increased significantly from 55 to 72. A rate increase of five points is, is significant in the study. And you see we have a delta of 17, both at 30 days and at six months. And also the EQ FD score significantly improved. So for the study conclusions in this very early experience, the transcatheter Pascal system repair system was safe and performed as intended for patients with clinical significant mitral regurgitation. At six months in paired analysis, MR reduction was substantial and sustained. 98% of the patients having MR grade two plus or less and even 81% of the patients MR grade one only or no regurgitation, which is four out of five. The mean gradient rose to four millimeters mercury with a pedal width of 10 millimeters and remained stable at six months. Patients experienced a clinical and statistically significant improvement in functional status, exercise capacity, as well as quality of life that was also sustained in paired analysis at six months. Continued follow-up and additional studies are warranted to validate these initial promising results, and they will be taken on in the Class II trial. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.